Hey guys and welcome back to another video where we're finally back in the shed doing some bits to the Corrado. Now, I've done a few things over the past months and Duff's back. Yeah. You telling them what we're doing? Yeah, we're working on this car today, Duff. So as most of you know, I've been giving the engine bay a bit of a tidy up and replacing some of the bits whilst the front end was off. There's still some bits in the engine bay which I'm not happy with, which make the car look a bit dirtier than what it should do, really. Things like all of this, old mounts. That's one radiator mount. This is another and it's not even there. Uh, these look disgustingly old and worn as well as this. And yeah, there's a few other bits as well, which we will be changing in time. So let me quickly show you what I've got. Now, over here on my future workbench, this is still... <laughs> I've only just picked this up. Don't worry, this isn't what it's going to be looking like. Just ignore that. This is going to be a workbench soon. But over here, you can see that we've got a selection of parts. Now, the top half is from Dreadnought Customs, and that is a whole refresh of the sound deadening pads that are on the bonnet. And the bottom half, you can pick up at MGR Parts. They're over on uh, Facebook and Instagram. And this kit consists of... All the bonnet latches, all the radiator mounts. Uh, we've got the bonnet cable trumpets, is what they're called, which hold the cable in. And then you've got the clips where the latches go into. And then you've got a piece of metal where the latch scrapes across so it doesn't damage the paintwork. All of this kit is going to completely transform the look of the engine bay. It's going to make it look so much cleaner because it's all chrome. And we've got brand new padding. So I'm going to get on to installing some of this. There's some bits where I don't think I'll be able to install it now because... For example these, I don't think I have a tool to punch these in properly, so I don't know if I'm going to be able to install these today, but we'll definitely get around to it, so one of this, 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 and the new radiator mounts, and the padding. So let's go. I'm so sorry for keeping you guys waiting. I know you've all clicked the title to see this car flame, but I had to give a big shout out to these guys for sending these bits over for the car. It makes it look so much fresher. I'm still yet to get the, uh, I'm still yet to find the tool to get the bolts in here so we can make that look cleaner. But apart from that, yeah, this is loads better. This stuff is holding up great. Uh, we, I did eventually manage to drill the old bolt out. I've had to use a different screw. It's like a kind of self-tapping screw just so that it's actually in properly. I mean, from a distance, you're not going to know, but it is a different screw. These are working great. Tighten them up with a little with a little spanner in the middle to get it tight. 
which is what I found out and that's how you adjust it. You loosen that and tighten it in the center. So Dreadnought Customs for the padding and then MGR parts for the lovely chrome bits and bobs. Okay, right onto the story. Oh my God. Last night is the, I'm gonna hype this up loads because last night was the maddest night I think I've ever been on, especially in this car. So we went to this car meet last night. Nathan messaged in the group chat about midday Saturday saying there's a car meet on tonight. Do you wanna go? And we've got nothing else planned, so yeah, sure. They had about four or five different locations set up because they know the first one is gonna get shut down by the police. They're gonna block it off. They're gonna send everyone away. So then we went to the next location and that's where we kind of saw all the cars there. You know it was big because Boris, the micro turned up. I'm gonna be using all my mate's footage, Jake. So Jake, thank you for filming most of it because I didn't film any of it. So anyway, Boris turns up. Then a Mark IV starts shooting, I wanna say AK-47, but it sounded like RPG. That's how loud it was in this little car park. The police van was parked outside the car park, so they knew everything that was going on. And then the guys released the third location, which is then when all the police turned up to the last location. So we kind of left that because I didn't want to get involved in any anything like that. Uh, and on the way to the next location, was when we were all convoying. No sentences can be made to how incredible this drive was. I think uh, it was either this location or the next location, I can't really remember. So we were cruising with a couple of people that we knew, um, Alex with an R32, his mate with an Audi S3, I think it is. Uh, and <laughs> there was a Mark One Audi TT, I think it was the 225 BAM engine. And um, yeah, we all set off. I was just gunning it because I had my mate in the car. I was so hyped. Um, I was just pushing this car like literally as much as it would go. And the last time I dynoed this, it was on 207 brake horsepower, but that was before I changed anything of it. I gave it a service, I changed the exhaust, the intake, so I don't know what it's running. It could be running more. But this little car was keeping up with all them cars. I don't, I don't, I can't say if they were pushing it. I don't think the R32 was pushing it much. But I spoke to Alex later and he said that he couldn't keep up, but I'm not sure if I believe that because I would have heard if that R32 was really gunning it. Then we was having a little race with the Audi TT. Then we was having a little pull with the S3, which is apparently running around 300 brake. I have to say he did have four people in his car. I had two in mine, but he couldn't pull against me, but he couldn't get past me. And then the killer was the green GTR. I was pushing the GTR to go faster because he didn't want to push it. Like, we, we weren't even going fast, but it was like being in Need for Speed for a bit because it was just a whole motorway full of these amazing cars. And like, to top it all off, the GTR, I was like, was like, was playing with me. He heard, because the, the noise this makes is absolutely incredible. We're gonna go out on a drive in a second, but the, he must have heard the noise and he was playing with me. He wasn't pushing it, but I kept with him. Obviously this has no chance against a GTR, but just the fact that we were just even playing together, it was so fun one of the best drives I've ever been on. And then to top it all off, when we got to the next location, everyone was telling me that this car was flaming and I didn't expect this car to be flaming at all. I mean, I kind of did because it's got uprated cams and it's got a decap. Flames now and then would be ideal, but it, it doesn't pop or bang or anything because it's not tuned like that. It just, I don't know, maybe it's overfueling a little bit, which I don't mind for the sake of a bit of flames. I don't mind, I'm, mate, what can I say, this car, is absolutely incredible this is the best car i've ever owned ever driven and like it's fine fingers crossed it's fine oil temperatures kept so low down cooling temperatures were all right um oil levels are perfect i know that the audi tt guy pulled up next to me and said that he thought he could smell oil but i think it's just because of the way these engines run alongside a decap doesn't really help the smell i think we're all good the only thing which i have noticed uh, there was a small drop of coolant when i looked this morning there was a tiny drop of coolant just down there so i'm going to top the coolant up because it could do with a little bit of a top up try to tighten up these clamps just in case it's them and then we're going to go see if i can get some flames on this car we're going to put the gopro up oh i'm just so hyped I can't like this. This is my favorite car ever I've ever owned. You had to, it's one of them things you have to be there because just to be in this car and just to be driving with all them cars and actually keeping up with them, it was just something else. So let me, let me fix all this up 
and I'll get the camera set up in here and at the back by the exhaust and we'll just see what happens we'll see if I can get any flames still haven't done this workbench I don't know how often it flames I think it what from what they were telling me it flames um, it flames kind of at the very high revs We're nearly warm on the oil side of things, 70 degrees at the moment. I let it get to like 85, we should be good to send it. But you can tell when you've been driving hard, especially in older cars, your arms hurt the next morning. Because it's not exactly easy to turn the wheel. <laughs> yeah, man, my arms are hurting me. disappointed to say the least i've just gone through all the footage and i must have just been driving it so hard yesterday obviously the car would have been warmer anyway because i was just driving it for must have been like hour an hour and a half in total well i mean it, we did see a few flames but nothing big nothing major and it was daytime last night it was nighttime so it's easy to see the flames we'll get it flaming and i'll get it on video hopefully when santa pod comes around because i'm going to be going to santa pod in july the beginning of july i think it's like the far show or something like that but we're going to be staying over the weekend i'm on the track saturday evening to see what the crowd can do i think it'll be faster than the golf just the way that it launches the way that it puts the power down i think it's going to be faster than the golf we'll find out <laughs> only a few months to go thank you guys for watching bit of a random video Oh yeah, thanks to MGR Parts and Dreadnought Customs again. Check out their Instagram and Facebook pages and websites. Links are all in the description. Uh, yeah, like the video if you enjoyed. If you want to see more Corrado stuff, then I'm more than happy to get that out. But I know a lot of you guys are waiting for the golf stuff again. And the next video will hopefully be up next week. Still waiting on uh, some injector cups because I ordered the wrong size. So just if as, as soon... As long as that comes by next weekend, then a video will be up next weekend of the golf. So, fingers crossed. It'll be cool. Right, I'm going to head off. Thank you guys for watching, and I will see you in the next one.